Real life street stars. We here with Gable Hood, Dallas. What it is? Oh yeah, what's good? What's good? Man, on the real man for everybody that's ain't been tuning in, ain't been checking it out, ain't up on game, man. This one of the hottest uh shows on the streaming on the net right now. Motherfucker can't can't miss it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit going on. A lot of topics being discussed. A lot of taboos being. You know, just it's a whole lot of shit going on, man. But we're going to jump it off like this, man. I want everybody to introduce themselves and, you know, just kind of give us a little synopsis of what Gablehood is about if they don't already know. Yo, what's up? What's up? My name is Jennifer Sands, uh, the director, the writer. And um, Gablehood is about um, exposing just different lifestyles um, and just um, exposing realities of the gay community and exposing that not everything is gay in Gablehood. So basically it's for a, a, a wide range of people. <clears throat> But my, um, I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to BB. I play JT in the series. Y'all check it out. Go see. This one right here is a motherfucking fool. Motherfucker this right one right here is a motherfucking fool. A fool. If you ain't seen the show, fool. this one right here. I'm glad y'all watched the show, man. I'm happy y'all watch it. That's all I can really say right now. But uh, I'm Jody. What up? That <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, I guess my character, man, man, I'm... I'm just everywhere right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm not stable. <laughs> um, I'm a little hurt, you know, somebody hurt me. But you know, that's normal. Damn. That's normal. <laughs> uh, so, I, you know, after I got hurt, I just kind of, I kind of just started wilding out and I'm just having fun, that's it, you know? Yeah. And, a, and a lot of people can relate to, you know, getting hurt and having fun afterwards and I'm just having fun, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> It's disco. Disco. I um I play Zo in the series. I'm a detective and I date one of the detectives, but she's just trying to find love. That's it. But it's hard dealing with the females in Dallas. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? This is Chris D, also known as Cher. Hey, Jody, Here love interest. You ain't going nowhere. Just remember hey. that. <laughs> oh, no. What I say go, and I get what I want. Okay, but uh, I play share. I am a married woman in neighborhood. However, I do step out on my husband with my coworker, which is Jody. You be cutting the food too, goddamn. You. I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. She don't. She don't play, boy. I don't she, play. She'll come up to your job. I'm it's really going down. <laughs> I do it all, honey. It's really going down. Yeah, I do play with a couple of them. Um, yeah, I got Robert, my husband, you know. I just, you know, want the money. You know how women just marry, sometimes marry men just for money. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I'm Cher. Y'all watch the show. We appreciate y'all watching the show. We thank y'all so much. I'm going to pass the mic. I don't want to keep talking. I will. Mm -hmm. Everybody, my name is Queen. I play Officer Chris on there. Hey! Yeah, I'm like the newest member of the detectives crew, but I'm like a character that's trying to uh, get in where I fit in at. You feel me? So I got Adams and Slim's back. I'll arrest anyone doing anything and everything. You feel me? Y'all stay tuned to Gabriel Hill. You uh -oh. feel me? Hey, yo, yo, what's up? My name is Yava, and I play Unique. Hey. <laughs> Oh, uh, hold on. Just, just for you, just uh, anybody who don't know Yava, she like a celebrity hairstylist in this motherfucker. Nigga, I'm talking about anybody that's fresh in this bitch in the DFW. She probably don't cut them up. But you know what I'm saying? You be going to these day parties, you see all these niggas fresh. That's her doc. That's her right there. And her dude is always on point, man. So whenever you with, you're right. So whenever, if, if you ever in the city of Dallas and you need your dude did, that's who you, you need to fuck with right there. Um, and, she a, and she a movie star. Can't be. <laughs> Hey. All right, y'all. Um, unique is what the name is. Unique, uh, because she's very unique and messy. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> unique is a type of character. I don't know if y'all see those type of people that just do what they need to do just to get to where they need to be. You know, and they should do it at any cost. You know, it's a lot of uniques out there. So you know, somebody can relate because somebody didn't had a unique in their life before. But I don't care what it is and what I got to do. I'm gonna do what I got to do to get where I need to be. Well, unique dude, not me, but. 
All right, y'all. Hey, I'm Cameron. I play two characters. I play David, a hey, messy yeah. call center I, representative. That y'all got, has y'all got been the white man playing to... overtime? Y'all got him doing doubles? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> reverse of, it's reverse affirmative action. What the fuck? <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. It's okay, bro. It's okay, bro. Hang in there. Hang in there, man. <laughs> I play, you know, David, he's, he's messy. He's, he's trying to get up into the business of everybody else and trying to move up into the company in management and no, in no mean, I mean, by any means necessary. And then I also play Victoria. Oh, hey. <laughs> and Victoria is very you know sexual and uh she has a you know sex slave so we're gonna get into all of that <laughs> y'all got some wild shit going on in this y'all got some... let me uh pass the mic i'm the prince deborah cartier otherwise known as mr in the building um just single and depressed and going through on the character. Um, looking forward to some new things going on and just we appreciate you guys for coming watching. Oh yeah. No doubt. Right JT, <laughs> North Dallas Finest. JT, North <laughs> Dallas Finest. <laughs> Little bro. Uh, Northside. Northside. <laughs> Sir Colin. <Yeah. laughs> Yo, like three streets down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, of course, my name is JT, Jerry Tucker. Uh, I play Paul. Yeah. Uh, oh, lazy nigga boy. Yeah, you know, boy, I go got a job. I'm just not on that couch. I just want to put that out. Uh, just like my wife not to be here neither. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> shout out to my share. I know she going to look funny. at this. Oh, uh, Paul is uh, basically I don't have nothing with Paul in common. So Jen actually gave me a challenging role. Uh, Paul is just really insecure in a way but he's kind of right so it balances out so uh you just got to stay tuned because i may have a sugar mama but we're gonna keep that going so i'm gonna pass exclusive it to the right though yes sister. <laughs> oh yeah yes sister. Exclusive. <laughs> hey Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> this is Erica, better known as Leslie, on Gabriel Dallas. Um, shit, what can I say about my character? Oh, my gosh. She's doing everything. She fucking her best friend's husband. She, get, she a sex slave. She getting her ass kicked. She doing a whole lot of shit. Not relatable to Erica, that is. But, uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I just want to say, y'all, we appreciate y'all for watching. We appreciate y'all support. Like, y'all are the shit. And, I mean, as long as y'all keep supporting, we're going to keep bringing the shit for y'all to support. So, y'all be easy and keep on supporting. Appreciate y'all. Uh-oh. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, sir. So, uh, my name is Young Trotter. The realest something that ever rang, you did. Um, I'm an extra on the show, you know what I'm saying? Um, I actually play the call center, you know what I'm saying, person that just is nosy. It knows everything and everybody business, you know what I mean? Um, but aside from that, I also do, like, the back scene stuff. I help JT. She's the bum, by the way, for putting Gabriel to Dallas yeah. together, you know what I'm saying, yeah. bringing all of us together and rocking like this, you know what I'm saying? And also, I'm an artist in Dallas, so check out my music, you know what I'm right. saying, Young Look Trotter, it. you know what I'm saying, we doing it like that. Oh. Hey, Gabriel Hood, Dallas in the building, hey. Yeah. What he do? What he do? What's happening? Hey. Hey. <laughs> so it's been Zente Taylor Lowe, aka Alice, and I really don't have to tell y'all too much about me. I mean, I'm I'm whooping ass and taking names later. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, that is. <laughs> what yeah. he do? You look different, but yeah. That's, what you doing? Yeah, yeah. You you go. Yeah, you a fool with it. <laughs> she a fool with it, boy. Hey, y'all better stay tuned because I got some. I got some for your ass, JT. Hey. <laughs> for your ass. Damn. That's up for y'all. Hey, I say, I say, yeah. yeah. What up, what up? Um, I'm Ty. I play Slim on Gabriel Dallas. Uh, Slim is a hoe ass nigga. 
Ty is not. But like my nigga JT said, you know, in the, in a way, he kind of right, she kind of right. Um, but y'all gonna see. I need to keep on watching because hey. it's getting real. It's getting so real. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, it be we watch it and it be stuff on it. We be shot when we see it. Like, oh shit. We don't be knowing what's going on either. It's crazy. So we definitely let us support. It's it definitely surpassed anything I ever thought. So JT's the man. I mean, you know, Jennifer Sands. I mean, you know, yeah. So gave her a Dallas gang. What up? What up? My name is Chris. I play Officer Adams. Um, yeah, Grimey. Say, Grimey. Yeah, listen, no, listen. Um, all this been off with the with me being shot and <clears throat> Slim being tripping with me and trying to figure out why she got an attitude with me, why other situations develop. So it's kind of messy. So it's really, 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 <coughs> really messy. But we like to say thank you to all our fans for real, all our supporters. Make sure y'all go support their Patreon page for real. Neighborhood Dallas, absolutely. So we can make it better. We give y'all the great, so we can be great. Already. Hey. Already. Now that now that we got that out the way. What's up? You know, black excellence. I just want to say that. You know, it's it's, it's amazing to see. You know, all talented black people getting it out the mud doing it. Yeah. For um, sure. one of the things that I like about the show in general, like you know, as soon as you watch it, the storyline captures you. You know what I'm saying? So to me, that's good writing. You know what I mean? So I just want to give it up to you, JT, Appreciate uh, you. For, for, for the dope writing. Um, I wanted to ask you, is this your first project um, as far as writing an actual movie script? If so, um, or if not, what other projects have you worked on? All right. Um, this is my first production I've ever produced. I did, uh, like, I think 2010, I had a stage play. Uh, it was at Friendship West, and it had Dave Hollister in there, Yabro and people in there, and Snoop uh, Robinson, one of the big directors in Dallas. Uh, he produced it. And um, that was big. But Gabriel is my first independent production. And we started from nothing, straight from South Dallas. Everybody know. Um, yeah, so we started from nothing, man. It's just an idea. Man, and it's blowing up for real, for real. So everybody want to know, you know, we watched the show. And, you know, it kind of, uh, uh, people who are not familiar with the LBGT community, they want to know, is that what it's really like? Is there really a Gabriel Hood? Does that really exist? Is that really a place? Is it really on Cedar Springs? That, that's, that's only half of it, man. Yeah. Only, only if you knew. Like, for real, for real. I just, got, I just got exposed to the stuff for stud. You know what I'm saying? So we joke a lot, just like y'all probably joke a lot, like, let me touch your booty with her. But that's my dog, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you exposed me. I had to, I had to. So it was a, if y'all don't know, it's a foursome. It's a foursome of all studs. They, they mean look like boys, if y'all don't know. Let me communicate. But uh, you feel me? And, and, and she was on there, and it just, like, exposed me to a different light. I was like, Man, it's just four women in the bed when they don't got nothing on. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, one of the things I always, always, always wonder about this, right? You know, when, you, when you're making a movie, and you got to make it realistic, you got to have the sex scene. Now... Y'all, I was, I was a little bit surprised how serious y'all got on these scenes, you feel me? So I was wondering, does that cause any kind of problems at the crib? <laughs> like, I see somebody stick a tongue out, I was like, hold on. <laughs> I see, I know, she done had like a foursome beggar. <laughs> Man, I mean, that scene happened on accident. Let's start there. Okay. Because half y'all don't even know the truth about the scene. What really happened in the scene, it was supposed to be me and one other stud, but the stud wasn't showing up for her scenes, so I ended up calling all these studs. I'm like, whoever show up, show up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to use them. Man, I, all of them showed up. <laughs> Damn. All of them. So when all of them showed up, I was like, hey, man, we got to use them now because they all here. What we going to do? You know what I'm saying? And she was like, what you want to do? And I was like, let's do this. <laughs> hey, that shit. Hey, I had a bottle of tequila. <laughs> you got to you gotta take the mic from her sometime. So, 
So, <laughs> so there's another show out. I ain't going to say the name of the show. It's a big show, you know, on Stars or whatever. But two of the cast members ended up having a side baby. Which cast members would be the most likely to do some bullshit like that? With a cast member. <laughs> well, I guess that couldn't happen, but, you know, a side relationship. Yeah, like, like, like there was another show, Insecure, where the, the two of the cast members ended up really having a side baby on some weird shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, Which JT? Oh, my Hold on, which JT? Y'all think Paul innocent, man. I'm telling you. Speaking of JT, I want to highlight my boy, man, for y'all who don't know, we grew up with young JT. He recently uh, posted on Facebook, he posted a picture of uh, the brat. And he said something like, I'm going to leave it in. Yeah. Some, some, yeah. And he said, I don't oh. give a damn who feel any type of way about fuck. it. So JT. Have a baby. Right. Going so crazy. So. That's my motto. What I'm going to ask the ladies, ladies, has JT had to try to pass to any one of y'all? Y'all better. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's an angel. Nah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it's like it's like family. I, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't. It's it's too much like family over here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I could silk warm in the summer, it wouldn't come up. So um it's you know, one of the things that uh, about the show, there's a lot of uh different storylines going on. Like one of the themes is double lives. People live in double lives, you know what I mean? Is that um why, why did you use that as such a big part of the thing? I'm just curious. Because that's important, man. You have two sides. To, you know what I'm saying? You, you, have a, you have a good side and you have a bad side. You know, sometimes you have urges. People, everybody have urges, and they do things that pe they don't want people to know about. So that's basically um, reality, and that's why so many people can relate to it. Um, anybody else can, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think this is just, that's the life we living in. Everybody living a double life. Everybody got some shit going on. You know, if it ain't this, it's that. It's like really the upper people. You know, I, I see, so, you see a lot of stuff when you you in this, you on, you, yeah, in this industry on acting scenes and man, <laughs> you find out that they live like three different, four different, five different lives. Like this shit is not nothing. Y'all know this. I mean, look at our president and some other shit. Like let's look at, like take for real, this is life. <laughs> Yeah, and just like corporate America, you know, when you at home, when you at work, you act a certain way. But then when you get home, you start, you know, letting your dick swing and all that, you know, smoking weed. Yeah. Why, why do you think that uh, people just in general have a hard time living their truth? Because, uh, for instance, I forget your, the character Perception. name right What's your name? Jody. 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 Okay, Jody was in love with Cher, right? And she, I guess she loved you, but she had a husband, you know what I mean? But it seemed like she really wanted to be with you. So why do you think it's so hard for, like, people to live their truth because life is easier like that you know if I go to work and I act the way they want me to act then I get my paycheck I go home and I can pay my bills it's that simple but in my house I can be who I am and I can do what I want to do and that's the reason I guess I got to go to work and clock in but you know it that's just that's just the way life works you know she she wants to be in the position she wants to be in she want to be rich she want to have all this and I'm just a regular nigga you know what I'm saying I can't afford that for her so it's like should I should I stay with her? You know what I'm saying? Or should I let her go and make that money? You know what I'm saying? But what is love at the end of the day? You know what I'm saying? What do we account for? What do we pick? Do we pick sanity? Do we pick happiness? You know, so many options. I also wanted to know, um, with the show being so popular, I know y'all can't help but be recognized and when y'all go places. What's the protocol now when you used to just, you know, kind of moving how you wanted to, when now you go somewhere and people are actually noticing who you are and calling you by your character's name? Man, it's crazy. Man, I can, I can tell you about experience, and I'm pretty sure everybody got experience. Yeah, I, I just want to hear, like, but, just if anybody has an experience like that, just let us know. Okay, I got, I got one. I got, I got one. Hold on. Okay, real quick. One time, I was, walk, I was walking across the street with my best friend. This girl was in the middle lane. three lanes. She was in the middle lane. She stopped her car, opened the goddamn door and said, <laughs> How did that make you feel though? Did it was that surreal? Man, it was it was crazy. I was like, oh my god, I'm at my worst right now. You feel me? And they looking at me, you know, but yeah. it felt good though. Yeah. I was at church. Oh man. Oh man. 
Hello. It was right after worship service. See? And the, the girl, I, was, I said little girl because I'm older. But I said, so the little girl came. She was like, oh, I just want to ask you something. And I'm like, yeah. She was like, are you in gay hood? Real low at church. I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, can I hug you? I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm watching Black, go at the movie theater to see uh, Black Panther. And the girl... She kept watching me when I'm going back out, back and forth. And she like, excuse me, you that girl. I'm like, that girl what? You that girl on that show. I'm like, what show? Uh, she was like, I was like, Gabriel Hood? She said, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, this is real. <laughs> hey, I just want to, hold on. I want to know, was that a real MacBook that you threw out on the wall? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I was like, hell no, that's real. <laughs> yes. Have y'all seen the bloopers? That's up on YouTube, right? Oh, is this right? a blooper reel? That's up. Go Damn. check that out. That's that was crazy. real life. I was not supposed to break his out Mac. Oh, shit. Oh, that's like, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, <laughs> like, nigga, I broke, I broke this shit for real, for real. Every time I see that, I still be making Oh, shit. Thank God they got it. <laughs> it still works? Oh, by the grace of God. <laughs> Lord was on your side, boy. Let's hear your story, right, so still. people be real deal like upset and mad at me, like, uh, you know you don't need to be doing zo like that. <laughs> Why is you doing that? Ashley done turned you into a savage. You need to relax. Yo, they really be mad at me. I be like, okay, all right, you right. My bad. I'm I'm about to go fuck with Zo right now. I'm gonna call her right now. <laughs> my bad. But yeah, that be that. They be in my inbox all day upset at me. <laughs> Speaking of Zo, man, shout out Zo, man. Lead Disco hey, in the building. Disco. That's my dog, man. Oh, um, yeah. So at Cheddar's over there on Hampton. Mm -hmm. hey, man. Cheddar's there on right Hampton. Now. Wow. Yeah. So I was sitting, and, and me and my girl, we was talking because we were waiting on our, you know, waiting for Cheddar's always busy. So it's no like, reason. you know, four to five minute wait. Yeah. You be like, okay. So we go in the parking lot. And then it was a group of people sitting. You know, they waiting too. They outside, fanning and all that good stuff. They kept looking at my car. And I said, man, I had to stop. Like, well, what, what these people keep looking at me? And I'm thinking, you know, I'm taking this personal. Now they coming to the car. Knocked on my window. And I'm like, say, which detective you? I said, what you mean? <laughs> which detective you? You know, you know, that was how they that that country slang. I said, um, I'm Adams. Oh yeah, that's you. Um, go ahead and be easy on Shy. Can you please let uh, her have her, her, her son back? I was like, man, they think this is real. Like, like man, for real. You I you know I have X and Shy with me. Hey, hey, you don't have to tell that. Yeah. So it was uh May 11th on my birthday. I was at Bombshells. Yeah, I remember the date. So I called you in when it happened. I was at Bombshells. I'm drunk and I'm walking out. See, like six big girls. I'm not even lying. I wish my I wish my brother was here. He was right there behind me. Was, she was like, girl, that is him. So I'm walking out my balloon. I turn around. She said, hey, Paul. I said, Paul. I said, oh, I said, hey, what's up? Her boyfriend said, oh, so you want to be with that nigga? Go on be with that nigga. She like, nah, baby, that's Paul. She like, I don't give a damn who that is. I was like, no, you can have her because she's big and uh, I'm drunk. I was like, but I don't got shit against big girls. I shit nothing. What? What are you? Have you ever hit? Never mind. I can't ask you that. <laughs> you feel me? Appreciate it. So, yeah, that was my experience. Quick ones. Uh, one time I was with, just two. One time when I was out with Erica, uh, Leslie, every time we go out together, they stand back, they be like, that's her, I think that is her. No, that ain't her. Ask them, can we take pictures? Is that her? Then one girl came over, she was ready, like she wanted to box me or something. Tell me, why you fight her? You ain't have to fight her. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. I'm Chris D. That's Cher. It's two different people. Okay. Uh, they be so serious. They have Leslie back all the time. And I be like, well, we've been friends like 26 years anyway. So we just look at them, keep going. But anywho, the other time, I just happened to be naked. Okay, <laughs> let me take it back. 
So I went to go try on a wedding dress that a wedding that I'm in for my good friend. So as I tell her to come, you know, help me get in the dress and zip it up, I didn't have on her clothes. And she asked me through the um, mirror, was I, are you Cher? Are you on Gable Hood? I'm like, dang, bitch, I'm naked. <laughs> really? <laughs> right now you can wait till I come out with the dress on? But those are, t those are my experiences. <laughs> Man, he All right, so y'all know the club truth, right? Brunch. Yeah. Brunch. So I'm in line, right? I got my plate. I'm finna get me some. I'm about to put food on my plate. And this chick just ran up on me. She's like, you Officer Chris from Cape Hood. I'm like, you know, <laughs> hey, I'm like, well, hold up. Wait a minute, mama. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I get a picture? So remember, I got my food and my plate. So I'm like, okay. Uh, so I sat my food down. Took a picture with her, you know, she was happy. So, I, hey, I was, you know, enlightened for her to acknowledge me. So, that's my experience, so. Uh -huh. One more. Okay, so this is what happens. I'm in Miami a couple of weeks ago. I'm chilling on a- Miami! Yeah, we got fans waiting everywhere, like for real. So, I'm chilling, I'm on the little at the little boat party, so I'm chilling and I'm sitting down, I see this thug come up to me with these dress. She say, say, you unique from the neighborhood. I say, yeah, she say, I like your character, dog, but you messy. <laughs> I say, all right, man, all right. So, yeah, it, it's cool to have, like, fans that's just not from in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Man, you can awesome. go pretty much anywhere and somebody will recognize who you are, and that's the beauty of it all, you know? So, shout out to Gabe Hood, Dallas. Man, shout out to JT for getting the whole cast in this book. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, right. That many people get a lot of on the same page. That's what's happening. Man, so... And you know, so now that y'all, you know, with the success and you know, do you move different? You know what I'm saying? Does it affect how you move, how you live, where you go? You know what I'm saying? No, we're not at that point yet. Right. Yeah. Oh, y'all go, y'all almost business, there. As far as business, we moving different, but like uh, not, oh, okay, maybe you are. I, I, don't, I don't move different, you know? I, I just see people. I mean, I wouldn't. You think, I, wouldn't. I, think, I think you type K. That's you for real, right? That's your real character. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, that's my You nigga. act that's like that for real. I'm tame right now. I'm chilling. Yeah. Yo, I don't think it's that we move different. I think it's that we're more of a family. And I, I mean, you ha I mean, we all were characters before this, damn near. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this is new to y'all, but it's old to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, most of us have been entertainers. Most of us are entertainers. You know, and maybe we're just getting out like this, but we've been out. So the way we move, we've been moving like that. Ain't shit changed? Yo, she been on Cheetahs. Like, she got the most watched uh, episode on Cheetahs. Y'all go check that out. And, and, and you know, I know, I'm glad y'all said family. I hear that word a lot. Y'all been using it a lot. Because, you know, we, we run this story. The, the people who run this and you make this shit happen, like this interview shit, we all like brothers, you know what I'm saying? We talk to each other all the time. So... I mean, do y'all are y'all close knit to where y'all reach out to one another if somebody going through some or you know if somebody needs some gas money or is it you know is it that type of family? Yo, her dog got lost. We have a chat. Her dog got lost. Oh, yes, well, her dog got lost. I'm driving through Duncanville, really looking for a damn dog. I'm driving all through 67. Yeah, she had a wreck. And I was like, man, let me get out here and look for this dog, man, for real. I was like, damn, I hope I find it too, boys. Hey. But yeah, man. we did man. Crazy. We was posting stuff. It, it was crazy. Like, for real. Yeah, did y'all find it though? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Man, one of the things I like about the show is uh, the cliffhangers. You got, you definitely got a lot of cliff. One of the craziest cliffhangers was the the foursome right here. You had just a bunch of different cliffhangers, man. So, um, do you draw your inspiration from like who do you draw your inspiration from writing style wise? Like, who's some of the people you look up to? Um, I, I um. I check a, people, a lot of people out. Um, I, I, I mix different styles. I call it salsa. Like, I might, uh, the lady that made, um, what's the, How to Get Away with Murder. Um, she has Shonda Rhimes. I'm tripping, y'all. I can't think right now. But Shonda Rhimes. Uh, and also, like, I like the way Tyler Perry writes some things. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of where I get my inspiration from. But I, I like to have my own style, honestly. I like to read a lot and research. So... What can we expect from Gaberhood, you know what I'm saying, coming up in the future, you know what I'm saying? What, 
Are we introducing any new characters? Somebody going to die? Is JT going to die? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Who, I, is the one that was Cuban. shooting in the club here? Huh? Okay. <laughs> Man, she raw. <laughs> Savage, bro. In real life. In real life. In real life. They all savages, honestly. They just look like this. Yeah. Nah, for real. Um, See? Which is JT? <laughs> <laughs> she gonna write this shit. She gonna write this shit in herself. Right. <laughs> but like, um, it's for the future, um, it's some characters that's gonna evolve. It's a couple of characters I already warned them about that might fall off, but we're gonna replace new characters. I want you guys to see new faces. But um, it's not going to be too much different. We actually premiere. Um, this is the first time I'm saying this, but we actually, I told them already about the movie. Um, so we're going to shoot a movie. Um, it's going to be like in, yeah, in about like, uh, we're gonna, it's going to take me some months, man. I got to take a little break real quick, and then I'm going to write it. Give me like three months, and we're going to have process working on that. But that's next. The movie to this? The movie to Gabriel Hood, yes. Okay. So we're going to top it off. So it's, it's going to be a connection through the season. So you don't have to, un you don't have to, Watch, watch the season two, uh, know what the movie's talking about, but it will help, you know, in, in a yeah. sense. And uh, we have two more episodes out uh, that we're coming out. One coming out tomorrow, and I hope y'all like that. Uh, so it's, it's some hot shit going on. So when is, when is the frequency? Like, how often do you drop the episodes? Like, once a week? So at or? first, it was every two weeks. And then, I gotta say, I'm doing a lot by myself, and it was crazy. I was, it was crazy, and I couldn't do it no more, and the, and the quality was declining. So I started doing it, like, every three weeks, and then one of them was one month. But I think it's been three weeks since we put it out. So it's been three weeks, and then uh, 12 probably come out next week. We're just missing one scene, one big scene, that's, you know, and then we're going to finish that out. We're okay. going to just drop it as soon as it's done. So what, what can you foresee? Uh, I can see this on Netflix. On a, uh, Ooh, we. You know, that's, I, I, I pray Ooh, for that. I'm know, praying um, for that too, man. I'm Amazon praying. or one of, the, you know, one of these exclusive uh, deals. If you were able to get a title deal or a Netflix deal, what would that mean? You know, for the cast and everybody? Everybody eating. We, everybody eating. Everybody from the bottom. Everybody eating. <laughs> and that'll mean great things. So the first thing of this platform, so I want to I want to say this. Um, it's about putting making sure everybody eat. You know what I'm saying? And like that's why y'all see hip hop music and our stuff. Um uh, we got local artists that's come and they put their music to our stuff. And, I was gonna tell you about that. Yeah, I man, seen for real. anonymous cultures. Uh, anonymous culture, there. everybody try yeah. to like I'm, everybody that got good music, they come uh shout out to Breakfast Santana. How can they submit? Like this goes on there. To, if Chris people, on there. If people wanted to put their like submit music to you, how can they? Do Man, gabrielhooddallas at gmail dot com. That's so, so that simple as great. that. And then we got views. So I'm just trying to tell people. I'm just trying to make sure everybody eat. And they looking at Dallas like, oh wow, people moving down here. Somebody messaged me saying I moved down here just for the show. Where, where can I go out at? Well, baby, I don't know because I'm working. For real. <laughs> Who's getting hit on the most now? <laughs> at the show. Oh, Kenya. She ain't here. Oh, y'all, Paul White. Oh, his wife. Yeah, my, yeah. Wife. Of course my wife. Yeah. Is hit on the like Your wife on the show? Nah, hell no. Nah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hell no. Nah. Oh. Shout out to my wife, Taylor. Love you, baby. <laughs> I was like, I missed that episode. <laughs> hey, I got a question. You know, uh, crazy women. You know what I'm saying? That seems to be a little bit of a theme here. What, what, what is it? Do, do, do people. Do people love relationships with crazy people? Is that yeah, just yeah. what it Sometimes is? Sometimes it's sexy. I mean, I would, a young, okay, when you, once you get older, you understand. But as a young person, you're you sexy, you know. I, you know, you care about me to beat my ass, yeah. you know. No, I'm just playing. That domestic violence sucks. But I'm just saying, in the hood, that's where we come from. You know, we fuss at each other. Right. Your, your mama fussed that too. But now, in women relationships... It's a lot of fighting in women relationships. Don't, don't y'all agree? Like a lot of emotions in women relationships. I mean, it's it's a, it's a man. It's, it's gonna be emotional, man. It's gonna be emotional, and it, it ain't no if ands or buts about it. Shit gonna be emotional. You know man, hold about? on, cause I, I swear to God, I got a homegirl, lesbian, whatever, and she was like, her 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 um her partner. She was like, man, she's just so needy. I'm like, she's a female. She's like, I know. And I'm like, what the fuck Man, is that? Man, cause we don't think like, <laughs> yo, yo, I don't even claim the stud shit, cause I mean, clearly I don't fit the description, but. I, I, hey. You know what? I, I, don't be rude. Hey, there's one topic. <laughs> yo, when I tell you, I don't be thinking like they think all the time. I'll be like, what the fuck? Why she? 
man, it takes a lot. Like, I don't know if my brain is a little different on that side or what, but I don't get it sometimes either. I be trying to figure it out, shit. Yeah. Just like y'all do. I be yeah. lost too. <clears throat> so tell us what you, I mean, I, I know Gabriel is a huge success. Got 100,000 views plus on a, several episodes. Oh, God. Um, what, what do you have coming? I know you got the movie coming up. Do you have any other movies yes. or television shows yes, that indeed. you're working on? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, I have a television show called Living with Uncle Sam. Um, what? Living, with living with Uncle Sam. Oh, wow. It's about a family living off the government. Okay. And I have hey, another series. Yeah, that, yeah. Hey, that, let's, get, let's touch same. on it now. Let's get to hey. it. Hey. <laughs> no. I want something wrong. It's going to be different cultures, you know. Uh, but I do have a musical coming up. It's like a musical stage stage play. That's how I'm gonna promote it because um, it's uh, different. You know how them stage plays. It ain't. It's, it's totally different. It's called a waiting room, and I'm doing that to bring different cultures together, um, but and ages together too. Uh, also, I have I have a lot of projects coming up. This was like I tell everybody. This was like a little practice project for me. Now that I know how to, you know, got my feet wet. Um, I got a lot of things. Feet yeah. Feet <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of things in store. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, man, because we came in this game like, what? Who Who do we interview? <laughs> man, so, hold on, I got to put, put the males on the show. We got a few of them in here. We ain't really got to talk, touch on y'all. How, how is it working, Um, you know, with this cast? How is it getting on the show, working with the cast and things like that? What are you saying? How is it working with a bunch of women? <laughs> that's what he mean. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, I mean, it's easy. It's nothing no different um my character Le Prince who I've been doing for over 20 something years um women has normally been my fan base anyway um do I get agitated yes but um <laughs> time wise or something like that but no it's just no different from a normal day life you have if you actually have a legit job I work with 90% of women all day long. So you have to hear the griping, the complaining, the female problems. Um, it's, it's, it's no different from anything else. Amen. My man back here got two jobs. How, how, how was you able to convince them to give you two roles? How did you pull that off? So what had happened was Jennifer was like, hey, do you know any pretty drag queens? I'm like, well, I do know one personally. <laughs> and then I said, it's me. And she's like, send me pictures. So as soon as I sent her the pictures, like not, not even a couple of minutes later, which is odd for her, it normally takes her days. <laughs> Just like a nigga. She was like, you're hired. <laughs> so, and I'm a drag queen locally. Uh, I've been doing drag off and on for about 10 years, um, and, like, I'm, I'm kind of that, that character in drag, and the same with David. I, I'm not in a call center, but I'm an assistant manager at an internet-based sales company. Right. Um, and we, we just... Yeah, I, I work with lim women all the time, you know, and all my family members that I'm close to are actually women. Same with friends. So it's easy working with women. Mm. Uh, I think that each and every one of us has our own personality. And with us, you know, bonding and getting to know each other, uh, we pretty much know how to deal with one another right now because we've been working with each other for a few years now, you know. Um, and a lot of these people, you know, I've been knowing Chris, Chris for like 20 years. I've been knowing Erica for like 20 years. You know, a lot of us, I've been knowing Queen for, for a minute too. The Prince, you know, who else? Yeah, the Trot. Me and Trot used to freestyle against each other at the, at the club. <laughs> and me and, me and Taylor worked on Tatty Souls together. So, you know, it's just, you know, a lot of us, you know, we've been knowing each other for a while. And a lot of us are starting to get to know each other. So it's like, it's like a real family. You know what I'm saying? You, you, yeah, whatever stay in the, whatever go on in the house, stay in the house. So if one of us fall out, it's going to stay right here. You'll never know. Amen. On and off the scene. And that's how it's supposed to be. Amen, amen. One last question, man. Gable Hood, the, cat, the whole cast at the club, what that look like? 
Yo. Say, the truth is, we'll we'll pack them out for real. Like we'll we'll bring we we'll bring a crowd. You hear me? Uh, if, especially if we do it right. But like you know, if you give us drink, well you know just a little drink. We we lit. Like one time we had a pool party. They had to snatch the mic from me. You feel me? Hey, Amen. We had everybody out they chair. Juneteenth. Oh yeah, Juneteenth. Well, okay, okay. You June. Okay, so June sixteenth, Marty's Live. That's where we're gonna be at. That's the after party to the June Pride Gaberhood Dallas. Um, so I, I don't know if this will be out, but yeah, it's y'all June sixteenth. That's where we're gonna be at Gaberhood Dallas. Oh yeah, performance by Sharon Chris D. Y'all make sure y'all come through for real, for real. Oh yeah, July first we got a pool party. Y'all make sure y'all come in. Y'all come in. Just come through. Just walk in. Just I got y'all. Hey man, we come. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, we good. We coming on the first. <laughs> I, as, as hot as it is, I'll be there. For real, for real. It's going to be downtown. Downtown. Hey. Yeah. Y'all got any shout outs? Anybody got any shout outs? Man, hey. shout out to all our fans. For sure. For sure. I want to shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all for letting us come on Thank here. Thank y'all for coming. I, I always, I, for real, for real, I want to be behind these lights. It may look, really mean something. I want to shout out to like everybody who's doing something, putting Dallas on, representing Dallas. And trying to make it a big community. Um, Amen. that's what one of my biggest shout out. Shout out to all the rappers, hip hop, all that. Hey. Shout out to Little Rock, Arkansas, baby. Hey. What? 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 Hey, shout out Jersey, baby. Jersey in the motherfucking nope. building, yeah. Man, shout out to Oak Cliff, man. Oh, hey, shout out to Oak Cliff. Heart and soul into it. I'm talking about Marcellus and Overton. That's me. Hey, that's us. They be in that thing. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my girl. I love you, baby. Be home in a minute. <laughs> shout out to South Dallas for real. For the folks. You already know I'm about to shout out. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to South Dallas, baby. Right off I did, you nigga. Yeah. Real shit. Never associate with fates. Hey, not at all. I want to just send a shout out to Dallas as well, Oak Cliff, and follow me, ChrisD.com. I want to shout out to North Dallas as well. Hey. hey. Now, G Belly. G-Town. Shout out to Funky Town, Eastwood, Stop Six, Stand Up. Hey, where the real gangsters at? I want to shout out to Funky Town as well and hey, Nap shit. Town, Indianapolis, Indiana. That's where I'm hey, from. Hey, let's go. Shout out to Dallas, New York, Washington, D.C., and to my kids. Man, that boy well traveled. <laughs> Y'all know I'm Mississippi born, Memphis bred. Hey! Dallas fled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Aye. That way. <laughs> shout out to North Daly. Shout out to hey, West Daly. Shout out to Oak Cliff. Shout out to the funk. I'm shooting shots to the funk right now. But yeah. shout out to the funk. <laughs> you did. Hey, and we are. Hey. Man, say, man, Gablehood, Dallas, man, we love everything y'all doing. Netflix, Amazon, Mona Scott, whoever the fuck. Y'all quit playing. Cut that goddamn check. Let's go. Let's go. Cut that goddamn check. Because we working hard. We deserve this shit. Gablehood, Dallas, we love everything y'all doing. If y'all ever need something from us, let us know. We going to be there for sure. Man, we just want to put y'all on blast. Let us know what y'all need. Like, we trying to, everybody got to eat, man, for real. Man, like, shit. Like, for real. We need y'all to blow up, because when y'all blow up, we, 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 we going to be like, hey, hey, remember we got y'all that interview? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the first man. interview like this ever. Like, we ain't never did nothing like this. Hey, hey and y'all are real life street stars. Every last yeah. one of y'all, like, for sure. For real. Whatever yeah. y'all need, man, let's go. go. Let's go. Yeah. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.